Hi everyone, it's Becky here. So welcome to another new video on my YouTube channel. And so in today's video, I'm gonna do a continuation of last week's sketchbook tour. Today, I'm gonna show you sketchbook number four, five, and six from late 2012 to early 2013. So another three of my earliest sketchbooks. And so this video is um, really good for beginners. For those of you who are just, you know, starting out to do art journaling, to sketching things around you. So this video is pretty long because I have to share um, three sketchbooks, each one containing like a hundred pages. So yeah, just make sure you have a warm cup of tea or coffee and sitting nice and comfortably. And you can also watch this video in two or three times. So in my early days, I don't know why I like to buy spiral sketchbooks. I think probably they are cheaper because I was a student. I wouldn't buy any more spiral bound sketchbooks um, because they're just not easier to um, to keep for a very, very long time. These pages, they can go very loose as we open it again and again. And the pages might get torn out very easily because of spiral. Okay, so here is sketchbook number four from September the 5th to October 25th in 2012. This sketchbook is a Robert Bateman sketchbook is not intended for watercolors um it's 100 percent recycled paper so no cotton in it at all i think it contains 50 sheets or 100 pages double-sided the paper is actually pretty heavy 110 pounds and it's acid free it's 9.6.9 uh, inches landscape format and it says artist quality. The quality is good. It's great for pencil and um, ink pen sketches, but I don't think it's good for watercolors. As you can see, the watercolors on this paper, it looks kind of muted or dulled down because of the quality, uh, because it's not, uh, it doesn't contain any cotton, uh, just a modern kind of um, sketchbook. And um, yeah, so as always, I like to sketch my meals, my food and drinks, I'm gonna go through very quickly my art history textbooks and my breakfast. I think this is this was um, in third year university. I was living in my rented room in Victoria and sketched from photographs, more food and more food sketches. All of these were sketched from photographs because I was so intimidated to uh, sit outdoors and sketch something. I think this one was sketched from real life. You know, just a very simple drawing of a man's back at McDonald's. And sketches done at the art gallery. And sketching my pajamas. Sketch of an empty bread bag. Um, I think this needs some more contrast and values and sketch of a milk carton. Let's continue, Let's go through very quickly. And this was in my third year drawing and painting class. The teacher uh, brought in some tadpoles and frogs for us to sketch. And I really enjoyed that class. And some more tadpole sketches with pencil and watercolors. Frogs done on the same day, September the 12th and sketching on the ferry back home to Vancouver. You know, in the early days, I was way too intimidated to sketch people's front or side view, so I just sketched their back views on the ferry. These two old men and a lot of people's um, head and silhouette sketches on the ferry. And I like sketching my uh, tea or coffee back then a lot. I don't know why, I think it's really, nice and calm moment for me to sit down and have some free time to sketch and this is one of my earliest sketches of the view outside my reading room window the maple tree turning red and sketching outside the window of the ferry back to victoria side view sketch of a man sitting on the ferry not too bad i always like getting an ice cream on the ferry it's very very tasty and creamy and some more fairy sketches, very simplistic. And as you can see, the watercolors is not working so well with the layering. It just flattens down as I added more and more layers. A fairy ticket over here, very nice memory. And the sketch outside my window. 
in my Victoria home. And sketching my camera. And a bag of oranges, very interesting one. Let's through. And another uh, window view sketch from my Victoria student home. And my lunch with lots of sausages. My mom's homemade steamed buns and a new box of pastels. My brunch again, and this is a pretty good study. I was doing a, a digital media project for one of my art classes at university. Sketching the university's newspaper and sketch of the pizza box that I ordered for dinner. Noodles, lunch or dinner and part of my quilt some apples after dinner, and a leaf that I found on campus. Some more food sketches. I ate a lot of noodles back then. And my breakfast bread again. Sketching some of my um, uniforms that I bought or you know wearing with during as a volunteer. The view outside one of my art education classroom windows. Very nice memory, even though um, this is not a very good sketch compared to what I'm doing right now. And this one, I don't remember. I think this one, I did this from um, from Life or from Photograph. I don't remember. This is very, um, you know, early exploration in how to use a pen to translate what I see. And another milk carton sketch. Sketch of a cupcake. This is a pretty good one. But um, I think this paper, I, when I was using it, I had a hard time layering the watercolors. It's really hard to layer to create a sense of depth on this paper with watercolors. Sketching from my childhood photograph. And dinner again, stewed veggies, my fingers and nail clipper. A tree on campus. And a mini car on campus. Sketching from childhood photograph and sketching McDonald's when I was um, you know, waiting for the bus to uh, go to the ferries and to go home. They're pretty nice line drawings and sketching from real life observation at the ferry terminal while waiting for the ferry to arrive. And yeah, even though this is a very simple sketch without you know a lot of uh, contrast and intensities, this is still a very nice memory of that day on October the 4th, 2012. And the time was around 6.30 in the evening. And I captured the glow of the sunset sky. So I think that's the success of this sketch. So if you're just beginners, just always looking at the positive things in the sketches that you do rather than comparing yourself with others. Sketching more people on the ferry. You know, very simplistic. Still learning. Just don't wait for the, don't wait for the uh, for the best time to get started. Start now. Start from somewhere and make improvements from what you have right now. And this is one of my earliest sketches, um, done of the view outside my reading room, the sunset sky. Sketch of a banana and my mom's eggplant fritters. Some more food and drink sketches. This is a pretty good one, I like it. Uh, some porridge for snacks. And I did this from real life observation by sitting on the carpet um, at Visual Arts Building at university on October the 14th, around 5 p.m. was, uh, I think it was getting dark and foggy. And I think I captured the, the fogginess. We learn a lot from real life compared to, do, compared to copying from photographs. Real life sketches of the uh, um, fall colors from my kitchen windows in Victoria. Sketch of a bag of spaghettini and the view outside my windows in the kitchen in Victoria around 8 a.m. very early before class 
and sketching on the ferry back home, sketching the back view of an old man wearing a purple jacket and a hat. This is a pretty good one. I'm pr I think I was progressing with sketching people. The more people sketches, just keep it really simple. Just see people's uh, head, torso, and legs in simple shapes. And sketches of my dinner, some wild apples. This is a pr pretty good blending over here. Some more sketches from the fairy window. Struggling to make layers of the watercolors. Maybe it was also because the quality of the watercolors I'm using. I think I was using very cheap student gray watercolors and that's why the colors were not so vibrant and the layering didn't work out so well. Flipping to the next page. Another fairy sketch. Sketch of a um, half-used pasta sauce. And that's some more food and drink sketches, bubble tea. And that's it. And so this sketchbook contains 100 pages and I finished it in, um, let's see, one month and three weeks. So that's about 45 days, pretty productive. And this sketchbook is from October 26, 2012 to December 31st, 2012. I think I was pushing to finish it by the last day of the year. And I did it. So the paper is, is better than the previous one. It's better than the uh, Robert Bateman sketchbook. This one is B paper. Um, I think it says heavyweight drawing paper for use with wet and dry media. It's 93 pounds, so it's pretty good, good for watercolors. Contains 60 sheets. The size is 9 inches by 6 inches. So as you can see, the, the colors are looking more vibrant compared to the previous one. And some layering is visible. And sketching an egg carton. Sketching my scarf. So I think choosing a sketchbook is really important to make your skills stand out, especially for watercolors. I think the layering worked out way better compared to the last sketchbook. Sketching of the, uh, just a view outside, just in the uh, little plaza at university. And the little dish of apples. Sketching a magazine and sketching my cup of um, hot chocolate and the croissant. Pretty good, it looks way better compared to the previous one with more uh, transitions of colors, tints, and shades. Sketching the uh, cafe at, at my university and my noodles and Coke lunch or dinner or oh, actually a late lunch on the ferry let me see sketching outside the ferry window sketching some people on the ferry and writing down quite a lot of notes and another sketch outside the uh, ferry window as you can see the layering with the watercolors works better on this paper Sketching a man reading in front of me on the ferry and the telephone on the ferry. Sketching my mug and the empty tea bag and the empty instant coffee bag, piece of pieces of chocolate. And this is um, the view outside McDonald's in downtown Victoria. As you can see, I'm still learning how to compose a good urban sketch and a banana with some splashes of watercolors and this is the view in my kitchen in Victoria some grapes I, li I like the um, reflections on the metallic wall so again just look at the good things that happened in your sketches and appreciate what you can do rather than you know criticizing yourself too much 
the really cute box of um, napkins with lots of animals on it and little figurines of ducks that I bought from a vintage store vintage, vintage store uh, plate and I think I, I did this from real life observation I was waiting for the bus and I just sketched the uh, the view with a lot of fallen leaves on the uh, on the lawn on the other side of the street at the university uh, very very loose you know a lot of things still learning but I did good job with the uh, showing the distance here the big tree over here and then the smaller trees in the distance not too bad I still learn something and my dinner and tea and a banana after dinner some pens and I did this from real life observation too whoa this is kind of crude you know the trees are looking way too stiff and not so organic you know still learning struggling to uh, make my interpretations of trees especially fall tree trees in the autumn uh, very tricky with a lot of loose leaves and my dinner and sketch at the um, little bus stop or something yeah at the back of the visual arts building i did a good job with the sunset sky and the paper certainly helped a lot with my watercolor painting and an ice cream sketching on the ferry this is a good one with some cross hatching hatching cross hatching to give more definition and shade of an old man reading in front of me and my mom's homemade fried dumplings or turnovers this is a good one um, a jar of instant coffee and my cup of coffee in front of it nice overlapping and nice tones inside I think I was improving little by little and this is one of my earliest sketches of the view outside my reading room window i think i captured the rainbow there as you can see um, i think i made the houses look way too big i shouldn't i should have made it a little bit smaller so i have some more larger areas for the sky and sketching across the spirals um, some ham, chicken, and canned food. Good ones. I like the uh, the different tones of browns and oranges. Some um, egg roll snacks. My uh, bookshelf. Some more food sketches. And this one is another uh, watercolor sketch outside the Fine Arts Building around 4 to 4.30 on November the 25th, 2012. And yeah, I think I did a pretty good job with the watercolor blendings. As you can see, this paper works pretty well for watercolor blendings. Wet, wet in wet, worked out pretty well. And I think it was a, I did a pencil sketch of my mom and myself uh, when I was two years old, so yeah. And another one, the pattern on my quilt, line drawing of a uh, video camera and here on my table I just you know sketched some apple core and used napkins I thought anything could be sketched if if I made up my mind to do it let's see some more tofu and uh, sauce sauce to make Chinese dishes sketching a truck on a parking lot at university. Oh, some dirty socks. There's cartoons on them. And my dinner and my pink sweater. It's a good study of the patterns and the reliefs on the sweater. I think I was improving really, little by little. Two cupcakes, my dinner. And I was even sketching the uh, brochure of bus schedules. This is a really nice memory of that year of 2012 in, in Victoria. It's kind of like an artifact. 
And again, some teriyaki noodle noodles on the fairy. Another um, fairy sketch. Um, this very nice textures for the water. Making little progress. And my pajamas. Another coffee sketch. And this is a pretty good one. I think I took a lot of time on it too. I used pencils only and then watercolors um, of a ceramic jug in the kitchen and some cabbage. It's kind of like the classic way of doing watercolor painting. But I still like ink and watercolors better because it just gives more definition. Whoa, this is a way better one. This was done on December the 10th, 2012. This is a very successful sketch in my early days. And coffee and pizza. Dishwashing gel and some veggies and the peeler, vegetable peeler in the kitchen. And my stuffed puppy. Some dinner dishes. And sketching the uh, cute reindeer ornament across the street and TV remote controls and this is the uh, sketching the blinds and the uh, the light in the living room and a pink curtain it's a good one I was trying to sketch the bus stop and someone underneath it while waiting for the bus to go home I think this one was done from photographs I just saw an old lady with her dog inside a, uh, a pocket underneath her body, something really cool. And sketching a pear after a few bites. Sketching the view outside the west window in my home of the snow on the rooftops. And sketching my hand and some crackers. Sketching some cookies and some Chinese food. I think these are fish, fish cakes or something for soup. Sketching at the recycling station while waiting for my parents on the summer of the 18th. This is a pretty good one with a nice sense of perspective over here. And these two are good ones. I think I used a brown color pencil to draw the outlines and then watercolors. Pear cut in half. Sketching in the bathroom, sketching my paint, painting supplies, sketching a handbag, sketching this um, Christmas candle house, very loose. Um, it was just pencil for the outline and then watercolors, the candle light, pretty good one, nice study. I really got the shine, the warm glow of the, uh, the candle. Um, sketching a electric screwdriver and some fountain pens. Leftover food from um, Christmas dinner. On Boxing Day, my parents bought me a uh, DSLR camera. Sketching from a photograph of a mallard duck in my neighborhood park. There's another Chinese snack, square cookies some slippers in the kitchen and that's it the end of this sketchbook i think it took me two months to fill it up so it has contains about 120 pages all right here we go this is a very large sketchbook um the same brand of sketchbook number four robert bateman Again, this contains 50 sheets, but way larger than the previous one. Paper is 110 pounds and acid-free. Uh, it's made of 100% recycled paper, so no cotton in it. This is from early 2013, from January. I started this in on January the 11th, sketching the views outside the fairy window. As you can see, I think I did a better job with the uh, watercolor layering. Sometimes it may not be the problem of the watercolor paper that you that you're using it's probably because of um, Your skills and how you control the paper 
I think the watercolor layering works out better now on the same paper. Sketching some chocolate cakes and some sushis. Yeah, they're looking better than the previous smaller one. And some Chinese snacks. The blender in the kitchen. The view outside the ferry window of a life-saving boat. Sketching a textbook and some food and drinks. You know, sketching from a movie, from the old movie. Um, the baby. Not a really good job as it looks a little bit scary. <laughs> and I was um, you know, doing a puzzle and I sketched it. A cupcake. Some um, Asian food and noodles. Very good. I was so patient with doing these strands of noodles inside the package. Good job. And this one was sketched from real life observation while I was waiting for the bus back home um, after grocery shopping. Pretty good job. I was making progress in urban sketching and they, I think I did a much better job with a tree. It's way better than the previous ones. And some Chinese food. Sketching on the ferry again. Some domestic sketches in my Vancouver home. Some more. Sketches of books that I was reading. Some more food sketches. I, I was doing lots of food sketches back then because it was so easy to, um, you know, to, to just sit down and sketch them before I enjoy them. Pretty good job. I really capture the warm sunshine in the morning. And the tree was also a very, very good job too. And the shadows on the fence and on the exterior of the house. Sketching some statues in downtown Victoria, just line work, because I was uh, really shy to paint it on location. Some more sketches, food, sketching an old man on the ferry, side view, and the book I was reading for inspiration by Danny Gregory, An Illustrated Life. Some more sketches, this is my messy bed in Victoria, and the self-portrait. Another on-location sketch outside the fine arts building. Good one. I was trying to blend all of the colors in the sunset sky. Great learning experience on March the 4th, 2013. About nine years ago. Another self-portrait and a slice of cake roll. A house plant, tea time, and a banana. A chair in the kitchen. Some more book sketches that I bought from a secondhand bookstore. And interesting sketch. This is the, uh, the Phoenix Theater at my university, University of Victoria. Good job. I really captured the warm sunshine and you know some bicycles. And they were doing a show on um, Snoopy, Charlie Brown. Dinner sketch, some more food sketches. Sketch of another egg carton. Good one, I really got the three dimension. And sketching with my drawing and painting class of third year university. This is that mystic veil um, behind the dormitory area. I think it was raining, but I still managed to paint in the uh, light brittle with watercolors. And I used a blue ballpoint pen for the, for the line work. Sketching this little creek with rocks. Again with blue ballpoint pen and watercolors. Sketching my bathroom stuff. The view outside the ferry window. And my bookshelf in my Vancouver home. 
Some more food sketches. Another dinner sketch. A cup of tea. This was my first time that I was staying up so late until 5 or 6 in the morning finishing an art sculpture project. And I only had like 2 hours to sleep before I need to get up and go to class. And before class, I just bought a uh, some jasmine green tea from my university's cafeteria, and that's a great memory. It's a nice study of a vinegar bottle. Really got all of the uh, the glass quality, the reflection, and the tones. So as you can see, my layering skills in watercolors was improving really. Sketching of a uh, cherry blossom tree. Some more food sketches. Sketching on the fairy. Yeah, I was getting better at sketching people. I think I really captured the uh, character of this old man in hat on the fairy. And this is another view outside the fairy window. Some more food and food and drink sketches. And sketching from real life of um, a man playing violin on the fairy. Beautiful music. And I sketched him while he was playing. More food sketches, some more, my afternoon coffee, sketch of donuts, wow, a lot of work over here. Some more tea and donut sketch, lots of food and drinks. and sketching part of my bookshelf with books and a lot of stuffies. Sketching bubble tea. I think I was doing a everyday in May prompt. Sketching some little stuffed dolls. And I think I sketched this at, at a bus stop while I was going, going to volunteer work. It's a pretty good one. My socks. This one is done from a photograph that I took of the crab apple blossoms and the bee on there. I'm sketching from photographs on day from a day trip. Studying of a um, soap bottle in the bathroom. Did a good job with the shadow and the overall three dimensional form. Sketching the local newspaper in Vancouver, some more stuffies. So just finding as much time as I can in a day rather than doing something, wasting my time watching TV or, you know, playing games. I just squeeze like an hour or so as a student to sketch something, anything. A book, Everyday Matters, again, Danny Gregory is my inspiration, all-time inspiration. And the the little cactus plant. Sketching with a ballpoint pen. I think this is a very, um, very, very rough sketch while we, I was waiting for the bus. I didn't finish it. And some more cereals. My breakfast sketch. And another one of my earliest sketches of the view outside my reading room window. I think I was slowly getting better. I kind of capture the atmosphere of the sky and the, and the uh, late afternoon sunshine. And because of the quality of the paper, the color is not looking so vibrant or maybe because of the, uh, the kind of paint I was using. I was using very cheap student grade paint. And that's it. And if you're just starting out and if you're so hesitated to go outside to do some urban or landscape sketches, uh, just don't push yourself too hard. Just stay indoors. Um, just go to, go to the kitchen and grab something. It could be a food package or cereal box or a jar of sugar, something like that. Those basic geometric shapes really helps you to build your fundamental skills in urban sketching because urban sketching or landscape sketching is a combination of numerous geometric shapes and objects. So if you cannot do single isolated items really well, like the objects in your home, then you're going to have a hard time drawing urban sceneries. So if you um, are just a beginner, just stay, just feel free to stay a lot of time indoors and do simple everyday drawings of food and drink and um, 
items in the kitchen. Those are actually very interesting to do, even though I have more experience in art journaling, I still like to go back to drawing simple things just to relax and just have fun, enjoy the process of everyday drawing and painting. So from my experience as a university student back in 2012 to 2014, um, I actually spent a lot of time almost every day drawing and painting in my sketchbooks. So I think on average I spent around 30 minutes up to an hour 30 minutes almost every single day when I was a university student. Because in a common sense, right, the more you the more time that you take to practice your skills, the better you will get in a shorter amount of time. So yeah, if you really want to make improvement, just push yourself to think about how much time that you want to use every week to practice your skills. So being rigorous and have a determination in what you want to do is very, very important to make progress in, in art and also in almost anything, in almost any practice in the world, like musical instruments, sports. And also look at the positive sides of the things that you created. Just look at the, the nice qualities in your lines and the use of colors and techniques rather than comparing yourself with others and criticizing yourself too much. So yeah, just calm down and keep going. You're gonna see progress after a period of time, for example, maybe six months or a year or two. You have to be very, very patient and be committed to what you want to do. And the most important thing is that you need to have a passion or love for life and everyday living to be able to, to do this. If you cannot you know, appreciate life or if you tend to get stressed out, it's very hard for you to sit down and do something like this. So yeah, being calm and have a really cheerful mindset is really important. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's pretty long. I hope you got to enjoy it with a cup of tea or coffee, sitting nice and cozy in your home and Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my video, please click like and leave me a comment below of what you think, how you can make connections with my practice. Subscribe to my channel for weekly updates. And I will see you again very soon. Have a great weekend, everyone.